Hey guys, Sir Xlot here. Gonna do a walkthrough today on a game called Retail Tycoon. I got playing this game with my son uh, probably a month or so ago. I think I've got probably close to eight days in the game is all, so it's not really that tough of a game. Uh, the reason I wanted to do the video on it so we can show you a little bit of the uh, custom pallets and custom floors. Uh, as well as maybe a couple pointers on how to deal with the five-star store, how to get there. Pretty much got to look at your crowdedness, your decoration, and your shelters. The main three things you got to worry about there. And today the new tram station update come out. So we'll take a look at that tram station. It's pretty pricey, $5 million. So hopefully you got some extra coin kicking around from playing the game a little bit so far. And we're going to hopefully try to eliminate some of the park installs in this base as well to see if the server load will go down. I'm currently in a private server and I'm sitting at 99% server load with this store. So things are a little bit laggy. But we'll get a good look at it anyway. So the custom pallets, as you can see, enables you to color pretty much everything in the game. He did an update on it since I built this store. That's another reason I want to do the walkthrough is because I want to start over if the gray portion of the walls is now colorable I'm gonna maybe change the entire store and light it all up so we'll take a look at the side of the building over here so you can kinda of get an idea what the custom pallets does and the custom flooring just gives it a little bit of color a little bit more life than your regular bland gray store and the custom flooring is pretty nice too that's how you get these floors down here is with your custom flooring. You can see the lag right there, can't you? But nevertheless, you can change collars in about everything in the game once you go ahead and get that game pass. Uh, the military game pass is another nice one to have if you want to sell the tank and military vehicles and stuff like that. The weapons game pass gives you the ability to sell the pistols and the ammo and that kind of stuff as well. But we'll take a walk around the store, have a look at it here. Um, I'll explain a little bit on how to get to a five-star store for some of the guys that are just beginning. And then we'll take a look at the tram station as well before the video's over with, so stick around to the end for that. Uh, me and my son started playing games together about six years ago. So I do get into a lot of Roblox games. We play some other stuff as well. But I'm going to be posting a few videos for uh, memories for me and him mainly. If you guys want to check him out, great. Uh, if you like what you see, just hit the like button. Let me know you like it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Maybe hit subscribe if you want to see some of my other bases and the other games. I put a lot of time and effort into my bases so they're a little bit more unique than a lot that you see. This particular store here is called the Inside Out Store. The reason I call it the inside out store is because all of my customers will be window shopping on the outside of the store. Once we get up there, you'll see it. Right now, they're just not rendering in, but they will. So we'll come in here through the parking garage. And before the update and the tram station I put in, this parking garage was pretty much at max capacity. Let's take a look at it now, now that we got the tram station and see how it looks. It's still pretty full. You probably get rid of a few parking stalls in it, maybe 15 or 20 tops. You can see the lag that it causes. Most of that lag is from the parking stalls. As you put them in, you're going to notice your game slowing down quite a bit. I was really hoping these tram stations, if you put a couple of them in, would fix that entirely. But we'll have to check it out and see. So anyway, as you come up here to the top, you can see that I've got all my items are inside these rooms and these little windows right here. So you go inside the rooms, they're not even rendered in. Here they come. So you go in these little rooms, the customers will go in there and pick up what they need. You can't put windows on the musical instruments though because the customers can't reach them. These are set so far back in, they just won't be able to purchase them. So leave the windows off your musical instruments if you're going to make a window shopping store. I put my registers in the windows as well. And the customers will go right up and pay for their items. Oh, there's a robber. Better arrest him real quick. You are under arrest, buddy. 
Go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Yep, see these guys right here? They're picking up some notebooks, it looks like. Getting ready to go to school. This guy over here is getting some luggage. So they'll just buy it right through the window. They'll come up to the registers and use the registers right here at the window. So that's why I call it the inside out store because probably 75% of what I sell is on the outside of the store here. And we'll go around front and go in the inside and I'll show you why. Look, another Robert. Gotta get him. Wow. There's three, like, in less than a minute. Okay, so we're gonna go inside here now, and then over here I've got a computer area, electronics department. And inside the electronics department, it's just a little hallway that they go through to pick up all their electronics. It's got several doorways in and out. So you pretty much come in any of the front doors and go into either side of the electronics department. Or you can also purchase the stuff from outside, like that gentleman is right there. So that's kind of handy. They don't have to go to one side to pick it up. They can pick it up from either side. These guys are out here buying some stuff. So over here in this department, it's kind of our exercise and furniture department. All that stuff I got sat in a little room. We got security cameras up here. Furniture is mostly over there. Exercise equipment's over here for the most part. Then we'll go take a look at the dealership. And here in the dealership, I've got nothing but automobiles and loan officers. My managers and stuff are in here as well. Just to make it look a little bit more like a car dealership, I stuck some managers and whatnot in here. Quite a few loan officers are in here getting people some money. Can't sell a car if they can't afford to pay for it, right? So as far as getting a five-star store, like I said, there's only three things you really got to worry about, and that's the decoration, the crowdedness, and the shelter. Uh, we'll go out here and look at the shelter real quick. If you want to run, if you're on Xbox, if you hold down the left the thumbstick, then hit the three-line button, and keep holding down the thumbstick, and then let off the three-line button, then hit your three-line button again, it'll keep you running all the time. So that's kind of handy. I don't know if other platforms have a run button. That's one way you can run on Xbox anyway. It's the only way that I've found. There's the new revolving door from last week's update. Kind of nice. It actually knows you're going through it and they only go in and out of it one way so up here anyway you can see the shelter I've got glass right up here on the top because if you don't cover up the pathways then the customers complain about shelter and you don't get a five-star store let's go in and see where we are here right now yeah five stars right there so a couple pointers on how to get a five-star store let's cover that real quick for the guys that maybe are just starting the game if you go up here into the build mode, and I like the view looking straight down on it. You can pick either view, of course. I like to look straight down on it. And then go up here into your decoration. This little flower pot's your decoration. And this one over here at the people is your crowdedness. Just click on one of those. And the floor will turn green, yellow, orange, red, and what you're after is to have it mostly green. You can get away with a little bit of yellow on crowdedness and no red that I've seen happen yet. If it's red, I'm dropping in stars. So that's pretty much how you do your decoration. Then anywhere that's not green or if it's you know orange or red, just throw down some sort of plant, some sort of decoration. The hanging plants work really well over here in the storage areas because you don't want to clutter your hallways or take a lot of room up for storage. And you see quite a few people use these hanging plants in there for that. I put quite a few of them down here. You may not need that many. You are limited on how many of these items you can buy or utilize. So just put down what you need out here in the parking lot. Of course, I skipped quite a few and it works just fine. I've got five stars of what I got sitting here. Then you can go upstairs and look at the same thing upstairs. 
it just takes a minute for the floor collar to render in. There it comes, nice and slow. And do the same thing up here. Just look around at all your areas and make sure that you've got nice, uh, nice decoration everywhere you need it. These little water fountains right here work really well. That gives you a pretty good circle of, of greenness out of one of these guys. They're a little bit more expensive, but you can get to them fairly quick when you start the game. At any rate, then go over here to your crowdedness and do the same thing. There's quite a few entryways in and out of this base. So my crowdedness was a little bit busy for a minute in certain spots. Um, over here, particularly, I had to put a stairway down to downstairs right here into the parking garage. And even that wasn't enough. They were getting pretty orange and red in these areas. And so I ended up putting doorways in right here on all four sides as well. So there's four, two of each of these in each corner. So there's eight different ways in on the corners. There's a back door in over here where that revolving door is at and three or four doors in the front of the store as well. And the only thing you really got to worry about after that is your hallways. So I was having a major problem right through here, but I added these two little um, decoration items right here and it actually solved my pathway problem because now they don't all walk straight down the middle. It kind of splits them up a little bit right there. And there's a little bit of orange right there as you can see. Let's go see if we're still five stars with that orange right there. It's getting pretty red almost. So we'll cut out of this and go see if we're still five stars. Whoops, wrong button there. Yeah, we're still five stars. So like I say, you can have a little bit of orange, almost some red in that without too much trouble. All right, let's go take a look at that new tram station that the update came out with today see how that's looking that's probably why I got such lag as I added the tram station didn't remove any parking stalls I should probably put two or three tram stations in instead and get rid of over half of these parking stalls but the tram stations down here you need a pretty big spot to set it down so I eliminated four parking stalls is all to set this down in here we'll walk down here and take a look at it it's a little bit customizable not a lot you can just change the colors of it, of course. The green and the pink color there is all I was able to do to it. And one train comes, the other one goes, and people stand in line and wait for the next one. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty busy, really. We'll see how many people get off of it here. Yeah, not that many people got off of that one. Quite a few of them are getting in. It's pretty laggy, though. If the lag would get better, I'm sure this would work even quicker. So maybe we need to go up and eliminate some parking stalls. Maybe I'll get that done and see what the store rating is after that. So all these guys just get stuck right here due to the lag. But if I eliminate a lot of these parking stalls, it would be my guess this lag will go away. So I'll try that out and maybe put it in my next video. At any rate, I appreciate you, coming, appreciate you coming and checking out my store. Uh, if you get some time, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video or if you like the store. And if you want to see what's coming next in some other games and other bases, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Then you'll get notified when they come. Thanks for your time.